Mike. I'm Tina, the TNR coordinator with AHO. I'm going to talk about community cats and how they become community cats. Community cats are cats that are vaccinated, spayed, neutered, have an ear tip, live outdoors. Some are friendly, some are unsocialized and feral, but usually have a caretaker. Somebody that's caring for them outdoors, feeding them and making sure that their well-being is taken care of. You can have a feral cat and you can have a stray cat. Stray means that it's it can be friendly, it can be um, very social, just doesn't live in a house. Feral means that it's not socialized. They've either been born in the wild out there without somebody owning them, somebody's turned them outside and moved away. They've found somewhere out there that they have um, claimed as their own territory. So we're just fixing them so they don't keep reproducing out there. They're unknown. They were either born out there or they were dumped by their owners when their owners moved away. Somebody just left them out there. So they, these are unknown to cats. If they're outdoors, most of them are there because they are in an area that they have chosen. Most of them aren't going to be comfortable being put back inside. Community cats are pretty resilient. They find ways to survive. People think that because they're outdoors that it's unfair for them to be outdoors, but they're surviving in an area because they have found a place to live. They found a warm habitat. They found food. We're hoping that the community will step up. If you're feeding them, then we're hoping that you or even somebody in your neighborhood will work together and get them fixed. If you've got one or two cats, maybe all of you chip in and get them fixed together. I've got two separate types of traps that we will show um, how to trap a kitty so that you can get them trapped and fixed. We do have traps available to be checked out once you have an appointment scheduled for surgery if you don't have your own trap. We have um, one trap. This is one that's a one door trap. This makes it very inconvenient for trapping because you have to slide the bait with, from the one door all the way to the back behind the bait trap. We don't tend to use these as often because they're very inconvenient. But we have a two door trap that we loan out when people would like to check out a trap. And I can go over showing how this one works. Your back row makes the baiting easier so you put your bait in the back. And then this is the trapping door so that you set this one so you don't have to reach through. And anytime that you pick up a trap that is checked out through us, I go over one-on-one -on -one with you when the trap is checked out. You will need a trap cover. You're gonna need treats, catnip. You're gonna need a feeding dish, some sort of catnip toys are recommended. We also recommend that you have some sort of bungee cord so that you can bungee the doors open. You can use bungee cords, you can use ties, you can even use sticks. But when you check out, whether you check out our trap or whether you use your own, we recommend that when you get the trap or use your own trap that you first bungee open the doors, set out the trap for the kitties to get used to, and feed the kitties in the trap with the doors bungeed open. What you're doing is you're acclimating the kitties to get used to the trap. And you only feed the kitties in the trap and nowhere else. You want the kitties to eat in the trap. You want them to get used to going in and out of the trap. If you're getting ready for an appointment and you're checking out a trap from us, you get the trap two weeks. But if you have your own trap, I would recommend setting it up as early as possible. And you would start out by just putting food, putting toys in there. Um, if you've got somewhere where it's not going to get wet, put some paper in with some catnip. So you want them to go in and get as comfortable with the trap as possible. This has got catnip in it. Sprinkle some catnip in there. You want them to go in and 
get used to the trap. Get as comfortable with the trap as possible. And leave this open for several days. Um, and only feed them in the trap. They have to get used to walking in and out of the trap. After the first four or five days, you're gonna drop the back door, still leaving the front door bungeed open. And then you're gonna still make them, you still want them to work their way into the trap, eating in the trap only, leaving the front door bungeed open so that they have to still go in and out of the trap to eat. So they can lay out on the trap, they can get comfortable with the trap. You want them to be comfortable getting their scent all over this. You don't want anything. Cats are very sensitive to strange smells, strange noises, things, and you want them to have their scent on this. You don't want anything to be different on the night of trapping because if it's different, it's gonna be foreign. They're not gonna go into it. So you want this to be out there with them so that they can get comfortable with it so that the day of trapping when you've got your appointment scheduled and you go out to set the trap, it's very familiar to them. So when it comes day for trapping, you're gonna to wanna to set your trap and you're gonna have everything ready when it comes time for setting the trap. You're gonna put your food in there and you wanna have your, I've got my ball right on there. Your ball's supposed to be back here. You're wanting them to go in and get their food. As soon as they go in, you're prepared so that when you get them caught, some cats, if they're acclimated to the traps, are going to be quite comfortable. Some cats, if they're a little uncomfortable, cover them up. This calms them down so that they're not so frightened. You can buy your own, but it's usually a seven to nine week waiting period to get these. You can buy several kinds of the one door traps usually at any of the local hardware stores. And they're the metal ones. Some come two door but they're not as sturdy and heavy as the true trap that we loan out. You can borrow our traps if you've got an appointment scheduled on our transport and it's all on our website. Once you have your surgery appointment scheduled, you would call me to get the trap and you can check out the trap for two weeks around your appointment time. And then I set the appointment with you to meet you here at our building, and then I get you a trap. I go over every part of setting a trap one-on-one -on -one when you pick up the trap and give you all of the supplies needed. The cover, the newspaper, and a catnip toy. This is very easy. It sounds very scary and it's going to seem very scary in the beginning. The cats might get a little scared in the trap when it first goes off, but if they're acclimated to the trap, some cats will just continue eating when the doors go down. So, and it's, it's something that's just going to be, you know, for a day or two of them being uncomfortable for them to go get fixed, they do come back. People are going to be worried. We hear a lot of times, the cat's going to hate me. The cat's going to be so angry with me. I may never see the cat again. They do come back. We hear that all the time. They do come back. Don't worry, they come back. They know where their food is. They know who's caring for them. They will come back. And you'll have a healthier cat in the end, one that's not gonna keep reproducing, one's gonna be vaccinated, and that's gonna be happy and healthy. We go every two weeks to Operation Spay Bay in Panama City to get them spayed and neutered. So drop off is Monday night between six and seven, and then they go out first thing Tuesday morning. Then you pick them up Tuesday evening between six and seven. If everything is normal on their surgery, they would spend the night in the trap. The kitties that are in the traps will be able to go usually by Wednesday afternoon. You're able to open up the trap and let them back in their colony. Kitties just do not do well being kept for very long, separated from their other kitties. They just heal better when they're back in their own environment. Everything's stitched where it's dissolvable, so nothing's gotta be taken out, and so that they can go back in their environment, you don't have to worry about taking them back for stitches to be removed. In our area, with it being so warm, they will start going into heat around four months and then gestation's around 63 days. 
So by six months, you'll have kittens. And then a mama cat will get pregnant while she's nursing. So it's just a vicious cycle. You will not stop the cycle until she's fixed. There's no extra for pregnant or in heat. There's no difference in care. There's no difference in the stuff they send home with you. If there's any major issues, they will talk to you. But usually it's just 24 hours at least in the crate overnight. And then you should be good to go back with the rest of the kitties. If a cat comes in on our transport, we don't transport them if they look unhealthy. And then when they get over there to the animal clinic, they get an exam. If the doctor deems that they're not healthy enough to be sedated, they aren't sedated. We do not take any cats that are not healthy enough to be sedated for surgery. We would recommend that you try to find a local vet to take a look at it, if you can. We don't have any vets on staff, so we recommend that you try to find a vet that can see it. Not all cats do well being put inside. It's very stressful on a kitty to be turned from an outside cat to be put inside and stuck in a box that they're unfamiliar with. They don't understand, you know, being stuck somewhere that's strange to them. Cats are very sensitive to strange noises, strange sounds. They would just be happier being put back with their other kitties. We do have a drop trap that is available that we can help you work with. If you're working with just trying to get one specific cat, we can help on that. We do have a drop trap. It, you'll have to check out both the drop trap and one of these brown traps, but we will help you with the drop trap because it takes a little bit more skill on the drop trap than just one person doing that. Clinic needs them to be in cat traps for the safety of the staff at the clinic and for the safety of the kitty. Because we don't know the health of the kitty, they have not been vaccinated. So we don't want anybody to get bit by accident. It's just easier for them to be sedated in the trap than in a carrier. So we prefer them to come in traps if they cannot be handled. If the cat is friendly and the vets can handle it, yes, it can go in a carrier. My information is cats at ahope4src.com. That's cats at ahope4src.com. Yeah, but not always. They may just be there. Um, Any positive words of encouragement for Charlie? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it.